Hello once again fellow simmers. I'm back. Uh, this time I'm gonna record that video I had told you guys about when I, I was showing off the Grand Canyon with a fork boy ortho scenery and um, I know there's many videos out there already that explain how to do stuff like this but I had watched some of those videos and I didn't want to try it. I don't know why I was kind of like oh, it's too much trouble to do it so um, decided that I would record this video you know just to show my point of view of how I did it and it's not that hard after all you just have to follow the steps and and uh, the results are pretty amazing so the scenery that I'm talking about is uh, fork boy ortho so if you just put fork boy ortho into your search engine um, you're gonna this is gonna be the first link and it's basically US for ortho photos 1.1 and it comes with a lot of different areas so each package that, that you download it's going to be you know a certain area like California most of the states are individual you know some over here in the southeast and mid-atlantic and New England they there's a lot of states together but all the ones on the west you know from the middle of the US to the west are single states and they might cover you know a little bit of another one but basically you know there's a, some notes on the different packages here and then some other individual notes on each individual package down here as far as like the zoom level that is used and um, all the instructions are right here um, in order to download it you know you're gonna download basically you're gonna go up to the download this file and you're gonna choose whatever part you want to download and you're gonna click on download obviously and you're gonna get a little file which is basically a a BitTorrent file uh, so you're gonna have to have a BitTorrent client in order to be able to download it he recommends using this Q BitTorrent I have never used this one because I had already installed um, BitTorrent a long time ago you know so I, I'm just using that so with BitTorrent basically when you get your your file you're gonna get um, a zipped file and you're gonna have to extract it and this little file is a tiny little file it's only 108 kilobits kilobytes um, so base and then it has a file right here with uh, instructions so you know it talks about how many files you should have when you do the the conversion that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later um, all the stuff that this is a big package this is 16,000 files that you're gonna have to convert so but it, you know if you read um, these instructions are pretty easy to follow um, and you'll have no problems so once you download the the bit the file the BitTorrent file it's called a, a torrent file actually um, all you have to do is one of two things if you already have a BitTorrent or something else installed all you need to do is double click on it and it'll open the BitTorrent client so in my case you know if I double click it it'll open up the BitTorrent client here and it's going to basically ask you where do you want to save it so you have the option to go I have my ortho drive which is Y and then you just basically select that folder and then you're gonna name the package so you can name it whatever you want here and then you you download it you click OK and it starts downloading it from multiple as many sources as they can find seeding it okay so once you finish downloading the file you're gonna end up with a a big compressed folder uh, depending on what you named it that's going to be what it is and you need to unzip this one so I just use the regular Windows built-in zip utility and it's gonna take a while because it is a lot of files so you're gonna let it do this this one is saying it's gonna take about nine minutes so I'll let it do its thing and then I'll come back and continue the tutorial okay so once your unzipping is, is complete you're gonna end up with another folder which has obviously the same name as your zipped folder that the BitTorrent client has downloaded so if you look inside this folder you're gonna find uh, different folders and some of the packages come with a lot more and some of them come with less so basically um, the overlays 
some of them come with four different versions they come with um, HD overlays version 4 HD overlays version 3 and then regular overlays version 4 and regular overlays version 3 the version 3 are for X-Plane 10 the version 4 are for X-Plane 11 I believe if it doesn't say anything like this one just has regular ones with nothing and then version 3 this is just X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 10 I figure the majority of us are going to be using the X the 11 so what I did with mine I immediately just deleted the ones that I am not going to be using because I don't have x 10 so there's no reason to have the version 3 now the California ortho folder is going to have the earth nav data folder the terrain folder and the texture folder the texture folder is the one that you have to convert this is the one where there's a lot of PNG files but there's a lot of JPEG files which are the actual tiles of you know the different parts of the terrain of the the imagery so you have to convert these JPEG files to DDS and if you look at the at the website again um, and you go down to the bottom basically he talks about about the installation instructions and it lays out the different types of overlays here and then it talks about this program here that you have to download it's called very fast DDS conversion so you go to the website here and you also download this file and you're gonna get another zipped folder so this zipped folder when you get it and you extract it you're gonna get a bunch of uh, files in here and this is the one that you're gonna use to convert the images from JPEG DDS and once again if you look at the website for the very fast conversion tool it um it talks about how to do it and you know it has all the instructions here but for the purposes of you know the way that I did it um, there's there's three different ways you can use a CPU only for CPU conversion which is recommended for ATI and AMD users or you can use HPC CUDA which is for NVIDIA owners for four core processors the MPC CUDA is for NVIDIA owners and uh, eight core processors in the ultra MPC CUDA which is uh, supposed to be for very fast computers with 16 cores or more and they recommend that you your system is running stable because it could cause a lot of heat because it's going to be working really really hard for me I found that MPC CUDA is the one that worked great even though my processor is only a Core i7 8700K which is technically six cores with 12 threads um, but I used that one and it worked fine for me so anyways um, when you download that package you're basically going to take all these files you're going to copy them all and you're going to go back to your texture folder where you have the, the files and you're going to paste it in here so basically you know I, I usually just go down to the very end or you can do it from the outside but basically you're going to paste them in here and uh, once you have these files in here the one that you're going to need if you have them uh, and I guess if you have them displayed in a certain order there's the MPC CUDA and which is the one I was talking about so when you double click on this file you're going to get you know this command prompt and it's going to ask you how much of the processing do you want the processor to do and how much do you want the GPU to do so depending on the efficiency of your processor and your graphics um, this is going to determine how much you need to do so I did right here I did 30 percent for the CPU and 70 percent for the graphics because I thought well I have an NVIDIA 1080 Ti you know it should be a lot more efficient and what I ended up doing is uh, the processor finished at 127 and my, my uh, graphic card finished until 141 so there was a lot of time that was lost because during that time the processor was already finished and it wasn't doing anything while the video card had to keep on doing a lot of work still so 3070 was not a good mix for me so then I tried um, 45 for the processor and 55 percent for the video card and the processor finished at 1615 which was 415 p.m and the video card finished at 
1618. So the vi the processor still finished a little bit earlier um, than the pre than the video card, which is not that bad. It's only a few minutes. So what I ended up finding was that for me, for my computer, about 50-50 was pretty good. It usually finished within one or two minutes of each other. So that's, um, and it takes a while. So this one right here started at uh, 103 and the processor finished at 415 and the GPU finished at 418, so three minutes later. Uh, so it, it took over an hour and 15 minutes or so to finish this package. And after it's finished, you're gonna, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna delete unwanted files? So it will delete all the JPEG files. So what you need to do is say yes and hit enter and then it'll delete all the JPEG files. And the only thing you'll end up with at the end of it all is all the DDS files and the PNG files. And you do not want to delete the PNG files. So you, what you need to do when you're finished is you need to go to your texture folder one again, once again and you basically select all the files that belong to this converter program and, and you just delete them. So there's four at the top that you're just going to delete and then there's a lot of them way at the bottom. Do not delete this water transition PNG. You're going to basically delete from here to here and this one and that's it. And the only thing that you should have left in there is a bunch of PNG files and DDS files. And that would be it. So then what you need to do, depending on your conditions, if, uh, if you have all your ortho inside the custom scenery folder, you need to copy the ortho folder here and you need to take it over to your custom scenery folder where you have the files. And then you're going to do Take the EarthNav data folders from here that belong to the overlays and you're going to basically select those, copy them, and then you go to your custom scenery folder and you're going to have a folder in here that you're going to create that is called Y Ortho for XP overlays. And you go in there, there's an EarthNav data folder and you paste all those files in here. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have the California scenery um, in my computer, but uh, you're going to have to paste them in here. And then of course, you know, once you finish, you're going to have to go into your, your scenery packs uh, file and you're going to have to make sure that, that this package is uh, detected once you start explain up to the loading screen and then you can go ahead and, and shut it down. And then right here, for example, you can see that I have all the different ortho packages that I have installed. So I have the Great Lakes, the Midwest, Kansas, Idaho, Southeast, basically all of them pretty much already except California because I have a uh, Orbix True Earth Northern and Southern California. But I do want to play around with it um, again because I thought the California ortho scenery was really really nice with these packages. So all right so I'll try to have um, the links to to all the different uh, downloads that you need to do in the description below. Um, even though all those links are linked on the on the Forkboy Ortho um, you know, download page, but I'll just put them down below for convenience. So that's pretty much how you do it. Otherwise, you know, it's not that much of a hard process. It's mostly the time that it takes to, to download it, then to extract it, and then to convert it. But uh, once it's done, I think that um, the results are pretty good. I was actually very pleasantly surprised with the California package. And I think that's why I'm going to do another video. Um, now that I have the Orbix True Earth on Southern California, um, I feel like putting it back in again, though, the Forkboy Ortho for California and doing a couple of flights because I was extremely pleasantly surprised by how good it was. Alright, so that's it for this video. Hopefully this clears up some of the doubts or misconceptions that you might have about installing ortho scenery. And hopefully um, I'll inspire you guys to get your feet wet and throw it on your simulator as well. Alright, well, see you on the next one.